Hi guys, Graham here again from Bainbridge Technologies. Today I'd like to tell you about the options that you have for maintaining your battery and keeping your batteries charged while off grid. So there's plenty of different options available, but I'll just touch on a couple today. So firstly, having a good battery and a good battery bank and having the right size battery bank is uh, very important to start with. If you're going away with batteries which are way undersized for the application that you've got, um, trying to keep them charged up on, on, uh, on the go while you're off grid can be challenging, especially if you come into bad weather and you've got you know, a number of days where it's overcast and raining and you've been relying on solar to charge your batteries up. If that's the case, sorry, you're in for a big disappointment. So having the right size battery bank to start with is uh, imperative. Um, we have a great range of lithium batteries here at Bain Tech Technologies, also to the point where we have them with their own DC to DC built in as well. So that's one of the first options that we can look at. So a lot of modern vehicles these days have smart alternators, which ultimately they're um, there just to look after the starting and cranking battery of the vehicle. And once they're uh, turned off or have been reduced in their power output, they're not going to keep your batteries charged in your auxiliary battery in your vehicle or in your camper trailer or caravan or uh, whatever setup you actually have. So it's imperative to have a DC to DC and having it built into the battery is a fantastic piece of equipment because it saves on having extra devices installed into your vehicles and paying extra money to do so. If you don't go down that option, well then you do go down the option of having an external DC to DC. Uh, the CTEC device here is a fantastic piece of equipment for that as well. This is the new D250SE model, uh, which is capable of doing lithium as well so it will do all chemistry of batteries from lead acid through to your AGMs and gel batteries and also lithium. Uh, it also has a 20 amp uh, MPPT solar charger built in as well so that's when you come into the next step which is by charging it with either a solar panel or a solar blanket like this uh, Bainteck one that I've got here today. So having the DC to DC will keep it charged whilst you're driving the vehicle and another thing the, the advantage with the lithium is it's something that they charge up very quickly so if you are working in an area where you have small tolerances and you need to get power into your battery quickly in a short period of time look no further than a lithium battery it's fantastic for that. So the DC to DC will keep your uh, battery up, um, updated and charged whilst you're moving but once you're static and you are set up and you're in your free camping so to speak or you're off grid then something like a solar panel uh, and a solar blanket is where it comes uh, very important even if you've got a caravan with a number of solar panels on the roof as I said before, you do get days where you get a lot of overcast um, days and therefore then it limits you to how much solar you'll get through those panels. By plugging in an external blanket, giving you like this one here, another 180 watts uh, of coverage, it just gives you that little bit more power than you normally wouldn't uh, have if, you've, uh, if your solar panels on the roof aren't working to 100%. So it's imperative to have a second uh, or a backup, which you can use in a mobile uh, device in a way that you can charge the batteries on your vehicle, you can charge your auxiliary in the back of your car, you can charge the batteries in your caravan and so forth. Um, so, you know, solar panels and solar blankets are a very important thing to have if you're going off grid. Even if you've already got solar on your, on your vehicle, it's important to have a backup just to give you that little bit of extra power when you do need it. Uh, having the right battery and being able to charge on the go. So these are just three little areas that you can look at to do to maintaining um, a great battery life and also a great life in general. I mean, we all like to get out there and get off grid and enjoy life uh, and what it has to offer, but uh, it's not very enjoyable when your fridge isn't running and you've got no cold drinks, no cold food, and the kids are screaming, where's my food, mum? And it's all spoilt because the fridge has died because your batteries run out. So it's one thing to look at it from a, a money point of view, but it's another thing to look at it from what you actually do need. And in this day and age, you need to be able to support yourself with all the right pieces of equipment. Um, and if you do it properly, you don't have to spend a lot of money but just do it right the first time and it will save you a lot of hassles down the track. If you need any more information, please uh, look up the link attached.